Hey, what's going on today, YouTube? I'm still a little sick, so my voice may be a little bit weird, but I've got a little bit more pep in my in my voice. But today's video is going to be how you can incorporate visual novels into your study, and this is an example right here. And so it's very similar to the MP Facious workflow, and yeah, I'm gonna show you how you get that set up in today's video. Additionally, thank you to Anime Cards. This is where I originally got the way how to set it up uh, initially, and Additionally, before you start this video, you need Anki and you need Yomi-chan. So I have links down below in the description for videos that I made on how you install those. And as always, please proceed at your own risk. I am not responsible for anything that may happen to your computer. And as long as you do everything in the video, everything should be alright. And lastly, I am running a Windows device, so I don't know if it's going to work or not on Mac. So test it out and see if it works. Leave a comment. And if it doesn't, then I'll know. Okay, so links to all the websites I'm going to visit today will be down below in the description. The first thing you want to do is type in Textractor. And it's going to be a GitHub page, and you want to click it from Artikash. And so once you're on this page, what you're going to want to do is scroll down to um, where it says Official Stable Release. The text track can be found here. And then you want to click here. Then you want to scroll down to Text Tractor 5.01, zip version, English only. That's the one that we have um, most recently. It might be a different version when you do this in the future. And you want to click this, download it, and install it to a folder. So I'm just going to do it to my desktop. You can do it to wherever you want to do it, as long as you know where to find it. Um, do the English only version as well. Go ahead, save that. And then you're going to want to right click it or go to wherever it is and then do show in folder. And we'll go ahead and then extract it. Now let me just get that in here right here. And so you want to go, you want to click it, go to compress folder tools, extract all, and then you want to extract it. It'll extract, then you want to find it, double click into it double click again and here are the tools so you don't need to actually install anything it's already going to be in here um, but I like to move it to an area to where it's a little bit more accessible so what I'm going to do here is create a desktop shortcut and so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy or I'm just going to cut these and then I'm going to place them into a folder on my desktop I'm going to rename it and just call it text tractor double click into it and then paste it and then I'm just going to go ahead and delete that old version just so I have a nicely named folder. And so to create a shortcut, all you're going to do is um, you want to double click into the x86 one. The This is the one we're going to be using as it works with most visual novels. You can try the other one as well. If I, if I go back out by clicking the back arrow and go to the 64 one, the same process that I'm going to show you for the 86 will work if you want to try the 64 bit version if it works, if the 86 ver bit version is not working for your novel. But we're going to click into here, scroll down till you find the texttractor.exe. You want to right click it, create shortcut. And now you have a shortcut here. So what I'm going to do is right click it, cut, and then I'm going to place it on my desktop so I have e easy access to it. And then I'm just going to paste it. And then I'm just going to rename it just to texttractor. Okay, so the next thing we're going to want to install or get is an HTML browser that monitors our clipboard. And so you can use online clipboards for this, but I like to have it installed locally onto my desktop. And so the best one that I found was from a guy named Annie Creon, I think DJT. Uh, here we go. The first one. And just scroll down to improve text hooker page. And all you're going to do is just click this download here. And then I'm going to save this to my desktop. Okay, so when I click into it, it's just going to be a blank page. And so the next thing you need to install is a clipboard inserter. And so basically what that does is it copies what's on your clipboard onto this page. And so all you're going to do is um, you can search up clipboard inserter, Google Chrome extension, but I have one linked down below in the description you can use as well. Just go ahead and install that. And once you're back on this page, I'll show you how to use it later. The next thing you want to install is something called ShareX. So it's going to be this website, GetShareX.com. I'll also have this link down below. And what you're going to do is click the download button here. And find us, put it somewhere where you can find and then go ahead and save it. Once ShareX is down, done downloading, what you're going to do is just click it and then you're going to install the exe. Go ahead and click yes. 
and go ahead just read through this you can read through it all if you want to I'm just gonna click I accept the agreement and then it's just gonna tell you where it's going to install share X go ahead just click next and then this is where it's gonna show you what you want I don't want to run it when it starts don't want that don't want that I just want to create a desktop shortcut go ahead next install okay and then I'm just gonna go ahead and finish uh, we're not gonna launch it for now just go ahead click finish all right so go ahead proceed to wherever you have text tractor the text tractor shortcut mine is on the desktop and so to make it easy um, I'm gonna go ahead and delete the share X installer I'm gonna go ahead and click the double click the shortcut text tractor all right so we're gonna want to set up text tractor so this styler is always here uh, what we're gonna want to do is go ahead to go to extensions and we're gonna remove a couple of things so I don't want the styler don't want extra new lines don't want extra window don't want Google Translate don't want regex and so move repeated characters we'll go ahead and leave that and we'll go ahead and do copy clipboards since that's the most important one alrighty so that's basically how you set up your text extractor for now and then the next thing that we want to do is go over to share X and so I got this pop-up on my screen I don't really care about it because I'm not going to use these uh, shortcuts for my hotkeys and I'm gonna go ahead and set up my own hotkeys okay and after opening share X I actually remembered that we need one more thing you need FFmpeg so go ahead jump on over to this YouTube video or it's gonna be linked down below in the description on how you can get FFmpeg installed onto your computer as well Okay, so the reason that we have ShareX installed is for the audio recording. Um, and so we're going to go ahead and get that up and running. So first thing you want to do is go to Add to Capture Tasks. You want to go ahead and make sure it's just the same. I'm sorry. The only thing you want to have is copy file to clipboard. So just go ahead and have that copy file to clipboard. And that's the only thing you should have in Add to Capture Tasks. The next thing we want to do is set up a hotkey for audio recording. So what you're going to do is go ahead and click the hotkey settings on the menu tab over here go ahead click add and I'm gonna name this um, to uh, the screen record you want to do start stop screen recording using active window region and then description is gonna be um, audio recording so just go ahead and name it accordingly and then go ahead leave this one unchecked uh, we already have it copy file to clipboard leave all these unchecked and the next thing that we're going to do is go over to the screen recording and go ahead, click capture, go ahead, override capture settings, go to screen recorder, and we're going to set up the screen recording options. And so what I'm going to end up doing is set my FFmpeg path. And what I have to do here is go to my FFmpeg, wherever that's located onto my computer. So if you installed it as I had done in the previous video, you're going to have it installed in your program files folder. So the easiest way to navigate to that is go to this PC or this, yeah, your C drive. Then you want to go into your program files and you'll have FFmpeg here. I'm going to double click into FFmpeg. I'm going to go into my bin and then I'm just going to do the FFmpeg exe. Go ahead, open that. Now, now it's going to be green. Alrighty, then what you want to do is just go ahead, click install recorder devices. Go ahead, click that. It's going to install this one is going to appear and then it's going to install the recorder devices onto your share X. Just go ahead, click next, install, finish, install, finish. And so what you'll have here is screen capture recorder and virtual audio recorder. And this one, we're just going to do audio recording. So we don't want anything there. We're just going to do audio source and audio source capture. That should be good for that. And then what I like to do is just reduce the volume of the recording. What works for me is what I do is volume uh, 150. And that seems to bring down the volume to a level that I like. Um, if you just use the it blank it records the audio and it's much louder and it's usually not nice on the Yonki cards and so I like to have mine a little bit lower this is the one that works for me go ahead and play around with it and see what works for you you can do volume 100 you can do volume 200 or yeah I like mine at 150 additionally you can change what codec you want to use you can use mp3 or you can use AAC um, I'm just gonna go ahead and use mp3 and then increase so I increase the, the quality and so 
eh, I'll go ahead and leave it the same. All right, and so with that, you're pretty much done with ShareX. We just need to set up a hotkey for it. So go ahead, click the this option on the right here, and just go ahead, select a hotkey. What I've been using is um, F2, as I don't really have anything set up for F2. And whenever I want to record the audio of the window that I'm on, I'm just going to go ahead and click F2. So it only records the audio of the active window that you're on. So if I'm on this page, for example, I'm going to click F2. I'm going to see this little window right here. It's going to uh, have a counter. And then all I'm going to do is click F2 again to stop it. And yep, it'll show that this is here. Um, you can't see it because my screen is blocking it, but a little notification will pop up that it's done recording. I personally don't like that, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can take that notification off. So just go into your audio recording. Um, well, go back to hockey settings, go into your settings, and then go into general. Go ahead, override general settings, and I'm going to go ahead, play capture, turn these off, notification. I don't want any notifications, so that will be it. And yeah, you won't get any notifications for that. And ShareX is good to go. Okay, so you should have everything installed. You should have the text hooker. You should have the text tractor. You should have Anki. And then you should have ShareX. I exited mine out and it's currently in the background, but it's still going to work. And then last but not least, you need a visual novel to attach to. And so my text tractor, the reason why I'm using the 32-bit uh, version, X X86, is that my visual novel is a 32-bit visual novel. So it's going to work with my 32-bit visual novel. Yours may be 64-bit, so you might want to try the 64-bit text tractor, but um, I said that a little bit earlier on how you could set that up. So I'm going to go ahead, open up my visual novel and tell you and show you how you can get this all hooked up and running. Alrighty, so with your visual novel open, you're going to want to go to, you're going to want to go to a part where there's dialogue. So go ahead, start up your visual novel. Um, I'm going to go ahead, start up on the first link here. And what you're going to want to do is uh, now move over to text extractor and you're going to attach the game. So originally it's not going to be attached. So you need to go, uh, what I did there was click attach the game in the menu bar setting over here. Scroll down to the game. I did Grisaya. It's going to run through all of this. And so uh, what you're going to want to do next is, as you can see, when I click this uh, drop down menu, there's nothing. Uh, you're going to want to advance forward in the dialogue. And then you're going to go over to the drop down menu again. Click through each one until you find um, text that looks like Japanese. And it's going to be this one right here for me. So now what I'm going to do um, is click again, make sure that dialogue is actually being copied. OK, perfect. Got copied again. I'm going to do one more time just to make sure fully. All right, so that's three for three. And now what I'm going to do is go ahead and click Save Hooks. Um, and so every time, anytime that I remember the game, uh, anytime that I open up the game, it's just going to automatically hook onto it so I don't have to attach it each time around. And so if that, that's pretty much how you set up Text Tractor. But there's one thing that I didn't show yet, and we need to do that now. Go over to your text hooker over here on the left page, or left side of the screen where I have it set up. And this is where we installed the clipboard inserter, remember. So go ahead and click on it. And what you're going to notice is that it's now on on. And so now it's going to automatically monitor my clipboard. So when I go over to the visual novel and click through again, you're going to see a copy here in text tractor. And then you're going to see it over here in my text hooker. So now is where Yomi-chan and Anki come into play. So if you know how Yomi-chan works, all you have to do is simply click shift, highlight over a word, and then click the plus sign to make an Anki card. And basically that's how you just add a bunch of new Anki cards. And so that is the basis of how it works. Uh, if you didn't want audio at all and you, all you wanted was just the um, vocab and sentence mining, audio uh, sentence mining aspect of it you could go ahead and just stop here but I'm gonna go show I'm gonna show you how to kind of incorporate into a workflow and this is how my workflow works with the visual novel so you can go ahead and minimize out of text track to here I like to um, optimize my space so usually what I end up setting up is something that looks like this so I have my visual novel novel in the top right screen. I've got Anki right underneath it. So when I click it, it covers it. When I click the top here, it goes back to my visual novel. And then I have the Yomi-chan here on the left side, the text hooker. And so what I would normally do is scroll through until I find um, audio. And in this case, here's the audio right here. And it's different for every visual novel, but the way that I usually like to work it is 
I'll record, I'll replay the audio, and then I'll end the recording right when the audio is done. So say for example, um, I don't know what, uh, what he's saying here. Um, let's just go ahead and click through one more time so we can get nice bullet points here on the left side. Okay, so let's see, uh, let's see, Dai Nimotsu, which is the Nimotsu. So I don't know Nimotsu, for example, in the sentence. So what I'm going to go ahead and click is the plus sign here. Then I'm going to go ahead and click into Anki. I'm going to go ahead and go into the, what I like to do is go to the browse and go to the newly added section. So the way you can do that is just go ahead, go into your Anki homepage, click browse, and you'll end up here. I like to go to the left side, go to added, and then click to the top. So here I have the uh, setup that I have in the Anki video that I linked down below in the description. What I'm going to do usually is to just tab forward to this so I get a reading. And then for sentence audio, I like to record the sentence audio. So as we set up earlier, the audio recording was F2. So I'm going to go ahead and click F2, wait for it to start, click the audio recording, and then once it's done, I'll go ahead and click F2 again. And then I'll just paste the audio into here. And so now I have sentence audio. I've got the sentence and everything good is good to go. So if you wanted to also take a screen capture, you can use the Windows function uh, to just do that. So you just press the Windows key, Shift, and then S, and you'll just be able to capture the window like so. And then you could paste that into the images area if you'd like. Me personally, I don't like to add images. Um, it doesn't really help with my studies, in my opinion. And so um, it's nice, but not necessary. So if, we're going to go ahead and preview the card. Here is the word, Nimotsu. I've got the reading, I've got the sentence. And on the back side, I've, I've got the audio. Okay, and I actually realized that the audio is way too low on it, so um, I'm going to go ahead and just set up the sound up again in the visual novel. Alrighty, when we go back and jump into the preview side here. I have the word, and then I've got the sentence audio. And so, if you wanted to change how loud or how... Um, if you want to change how loud ShareX was, just go back to the part of the video where I show you how you can change the volume in ShareX, the FFmpeg command line. And that's all you need to get started with setting up visual novels in your sentence mining. So yeah, if you found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing. If you have any visual novel recommendations for me, please also comment down below and I'll go ahead and try to read them. Um, and yeah, that's about it for the video. If you have any questions, please comment down below and uh, good luck in your studies out there, everybody, and I'll see you in a future video.